I wanted to make a quick video this morning about dating after narcissistic abuse and why it's very important to wait. You should not rush into dating or being in a relationship after you have just come out of a narcissistically abusive relationship. And sometimes this can be a little bit difficult because the narcissist themselves um, is most likely moving on fairly quick themselves. They tend to do this. And we've talked about this before, the reason why they do, which is the fact that they need supply. They need a constant source of supply. They cannot be without a relationship because they can't self-regulate feelings. They can't feed themselves happiness and joy and self-fulfillment. That has to come from someone else. So what they do is they find the very first next person that is going to give them those feelings and they will begin to love bomb them and start a relationship with them very quickly. And we have seen this many, many times. There's many, many examples of narcissists just jumping from relationship to relationship, um, even after long terms. You don't have to do the same thing and you absolutely shouldn't do the same thing. And you might feel you want to get in a relationship just to prove that you're worthy and that you're attractive and that you're desirable and look at me, I'm not a loser because I'm alone. I get those feelings, but you really have to level with yourself and understand that, that that's not a fair way to be in a relationship for either yourself or the person you're in a relationship with because you're essentially just doing what the narcissist is doing. After you break up with a narcissist, you have to take time alone. You have to mourn your relationship. You have to grieve your relationship because unlike the narcissist, you were actually in love with them. You did have true feelings. You weren't using them. So when that relationship ends, you are sad. You are broken. Even if you were the one that walked away and ended it, you still need to take the time to do the work, to heal, and to grieve. You should read some self-help books. We've all recommended lots of books here. Um, there is Whole Again, which is a new book by Jackson McKenzie. He's the author of Psychopath Free, and that talks a lot about how to get your life back together after an abusive relationship and how to become whole again, not by using somebody else to fill a place. You have to reconnect with your family, with old friends, and with yourself. Maybe get some new hobbies. Take that time. Spend a Friday night home alone watching movies. Saturday night, you know what? Go to the spa, get your nails done, come home, take a hot bath, put some music on, drink a glass of wine by yourself. It's actually quite enjoyable. <laughs> Sometimes it becomes kind of a habit and you get really used to just taking that alone time and doing some work, work on some projects. You don't need to have somebody else in your life to fill a void the way the narcissist does. And that's a good thing. You are able to self regulate. You can create your own happiness by going to the gym and coming home and cooking yourself a nice healthy meal, watching a movie and going to bed at a reasonable hour. Imagine that. So I'm going to keep this video kind of short because I just really wanted to put that out there and really make sure everybody knows it's okay. A lot of people evaluate their status, their social status on their marital status and being single for a lot of people is anxiety provoking it is a worry of stress you know you may have pressure from your parents and your family that when are you going to get married when am i going to have grandkids don't worry about it that's none of their business it's up to you if that relationship didn't work you need to take a good amount of time and it is going to be several, several, several months, at least a half a year, up to a year, I'd say. It doesn't matter how long the relationship was before because 
you don't compare. I don't like these comparisons where, well, if you were in a relationship for X amount of months or years, then you need to be do a calculation, divide by two, split in half, and that's how long you need to be single for. It doesn't work like that. What it works like is your own healing and your own work. If you are going to therapy, if you are reading self-help help books, if you are following YouTube accounts like mine and Instagram pages like Narcoway and all of the hundreds of other valuable um, Facebook pages and YouTube channels and Instagram accounts that have information on how to heal and become whole again after abuse, you are putting the work in and you are healing. And that is what is going to determine when you're ready to date again. And plus, you need to you need to elevate your standards a little bit. You need to make sure you're not going to get into the same type of relationship again. So you have a fair bit of work to do, and you owe yourself some time for yourself. You have catered to some dickhead long enough. Take that time for you. You cater to yourself. You pamper yourself. You go out with the girls. You spend a weekend with your family, and you spend that time on you. You deserve it. Okay, I hope that answers some questions, and I hope it makes you feel better about being single because it is just fine and good and important and necessary to be single for a little while after narcissistic abuse. I love you all.